What the heck is a pharmacy residency? Let me explain. Pharmacy residency is additional training that a pharmacist can go through after finishing their doctorate of pharmacy degree. These experiences can be one year, which is generally a little bit more overarching. You'd get a bunch of wide variety of practice areas and experiences. And then a second year is also an option in one of 19 different specialty areas defined by the American Society of Health System Pharmacists for pharmacists to further specialize in. Well, you you do have the opportunity to do some more specialized experiences in the first year of residency. For example, I specialized more in pediatrics because I went to a pediatric hospital and we only had pediatric patients to care for, so I learned about pediatrics. But for the most part, this is a general overarching experience. Throughout the year, pharmacists get to do a wide variety of things that are going to make them a better pharmacist in the future. So first, pharmacists get to rotate through different clinical areas to learn more about that specialty from somebody who is already in it. So for example, I rotated through things like the neonatal ICU, general pediatrics, the pediatric ICU, our nutrition service, medication safety, things like that. And I spent four to six weeks in those areas to really learn how to be a pharmacist for that particular patient population. Now you get these rotation experiences in pharmacy school during your last year. However, what you do in residency is far more in depth because you can practice on your own. Pharmacy residency isn't required, so even as a resident, you can practice solo, which is typically what is happening through the majority of your rotation experience in residency. You're just getting a little extra guidance and you're going through topic discussions with your preceptor to learn more about that specialty area. Another thing that you do in residency is you learn how to set up a research project from start to finish. Everything from getting all of your plans in place, figuring out how you're going to collect the data, to analyzing that data, to getting it in a research paper format. You also give several formal academic presentations on different topics so you can learn how to present a formal presentation to a pharmacist audience and sometimes even more than that. As a part of your research experience, you also do a poster presentation at a conference of some sort and sometimes even a platform presentation at a national conference. A lot of these programs also incorporate leadership training and teach you a little bit more about the the management process. Pharmacists also staff as clinical pharmacists. Every single program does this a little bit differently, but at my program, I spent time in the central pharmacy doing more dispensing tasks and order verification. And then I also spent time in the emergency department where I really learned how to respond to code blue situations while I also verified orders and things of that nature. In the spring, after I rotated through the neonatal ICU, I actually got to staff there as well and served as the clinical pharmacist there on the weekends. Pharmacy Pharmacy residents also usually do some sort of volunteer work as well to give back to the hospitals that they're serving. The second year of residency, also known as a PGY2, also encompasses a lot of those things. They just do it in a little bit different way in a bit more depth in a specific specialty area. So why would a pharmacist choose to do a pharmacy residency? Well, pharmacy is very competitive and in the current market that we're in, a PharmD is just a starting point. Pharmacists who are looking to work in a clinical practice area such as mine with pediatrics or working in a hospital at all are going to find that a lot of positions either require or strongly recommend a residency experience. Now that doesn't mean that you have to have a residency to work in a hospital. It just means that it's going to make it a little bit easier to get those hospital pharmacy jobs. There are some downsides to doing a residency which include a lower pay for a year or two depending on how long you decide to do residency. It's usually about half to less than half of your normal salary as a pharmacist. It's also long, grueling hours. So duty hours are usually 60 to 80 hours a week, and that doesn't include the time you're gonna spend studying, which is usually several more hours each week. You also work a lot of days in a row. When I was in residency, I did 12 days on, two days off for an entire year. And let me tell you, it was brutal. But at the end of that residency experience, it made me a better candidate for the jobs that I wanted, and I was able to get a job in the practice area that I was most interested in. Additionally, having residency experiences opens up a lot of doors for future job opportunities and career growth. Now, there are several things to consider whether or not you should do a PGY-1 pharmacy residency or a PGY-2, and what actually helps you become a good pharmacy residency candidate. Well, that's exactly what this series is for, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future videos on this pharmacy residency series. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.